Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. As I was messing around building an actual, uh, well, you'll, you'll find, find out later. later. I started looking at making kind of like a cart, a tiny little four-wheeled cart vehicle. It started off using the rover wheels, like the tiny ones, like the itty bitty rover wheels. And then I bumped it up a little bit to the slightly larger rover wheels. But as I was creating this thing, I was like, you know, this thing looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like a trike, a reversed trike. I put some science stuff on the back, the goo container, and it kind of looked like one of those backpacks, backpacks, what? Backpacks that you put on the back of a kind of a cruiser motorcycle. Kind of reminded me of one of those motorcycles that I've seen a lot of miles just driving on the open road. Road, middle of the desert or something got backpacks got tent equipment and camping equipment just just packed up just all the way packed up looks like the guy's been fixing little maintenance things here and there he's added a bunch of stuff the little Kerbal's added a bunch of stuff to it now making an actual bike bike I wasn't really in the mood to try to figure that out even though I've been building bikes hell I even built one that flew but I thought a trike would be kind of neat a reversed trike now the thing about three wheels is that it's notorious Notorious, notorious, notoriously hard to control. If you take a corner too hard, there's not enough stability in the back and it could flip the whole thing over. But Veos, use a reaction wheel. No. But Veos, use RCS. No. Does your car have reaction wheels? Does your motorcycle have RCS? No. At first I used the teeny tiny little rover wheels to try to sort of be like training wheels in a sense. Although that, that's what it did look like. It looked like training wheels and I wasn't really digging it. For the back wheel, it had the suspension system that's on it. I wanted it to be like some sort of contraption something I, I'm I wasn't sure what maybe it had to deal with power maybe a camera or a winch something to justify the fact that that was sticking out on the right hand side of the trike now mind you I do use a mod called restock and what that does is it takes the stock parts and it updates their skins so they're a lot cleaner a lot smoother and a lot better in my opinion, than the actual stock skin. Plus it gives you a few options to cycle through, which is really nice. Check the description below. But other than that, this is completely stock. Although I wish it, I wish this mod was stock. I don't know if the devs ever thought about making this mod stock, but whoever made this mod, I sure hope the hell they're working for KSP2. I think that would make the game way better. But anyway, I put solid rocket boosters on the side. I thought it would be cute to have some like fast burst of speed. Come to find out that it made the vehicle completely uncontrollable. I eventually replaced them with RCS, linear RCS parts. I didn't know if that was going to make a difference, but uh, surprisingly it does. I can jump up almost 10 or 15 meters per second higher, which is not all that fast, but it does make for a good increase in speed without becoming completely uncontrollable. I would imagine in order to fuel this thing up, you'd probably need a claw, maybe hook it onto the front of the vehicle. That way you can fill, fuel it back up. Also, in order to help with stability issues, instead of having training wheels in a sense in the back, I just said, screw it. Why don't I just put like skids? I mean, this is Kerbal Space Program, right? So maybe I can make the skids look like, I don't know, jet wings or rocket fins or something and still have a, still have a nice motorcycle like style, but give it like a, like a good blend between motorcycle and possible aerospace design mix. Does, Does that, that make sense? sense? Came out looking good though. I liked it. In order to recharge the batteries, I knew this thing needed something. So I tried to make it like a, like a cab in a sense put something over the Kerbal's head like a roll cage and then on top of that would be solar panels to justify the fact that it needed to be recharged I wasn't I wasn't liking it though it, it was okay maybe for a more civilian ish role but for like a rugged travel trike kind of thing something you can see driving on the sands of Duna or in the desert of Kerbin or even Lathe it just wasn't it just wasn't working I need something that was more open open cockpit design so I came up with a kind of convertible thing going on. Uh, I really shouldn't say convertible because you can't really open it or close it. But it was a very open, well, it was an open design. It allowed the Kerbal to be sort of snug in place, sort of having some sort of side guards in a sense, but still allowing the helmet of the Kerbal to pop out from the top. Now, of course, I asked myself, what kind of protection would that be if 
you know, the vehicle ever rolled over. Obviously, you would smash the helmet on top as the vehicle rolled over, but I figured in a sense it was probably safer than an open motorcycle, the way motor motorcycles are today, or even reverse trikes, where there's absolutely nothing in the way of making your Kerbal, huh, making your Kerbal, making, making you fly in the air like Superman, Lord forbid if you ever hit something. At least with this design, the driver has somewhat of a seatbelt and sidebar to protect them. Worst case scenario, if they ever do flip over, they can kind of maybe tuck their head down, ish, sort of, meh. But anyway, that's pretty much it. It was a neat little side project, took about three hours. Like I said, I was actually designing like a small little cart or something for like the Duna colony and ended up <laughs> making this thing, which I could, I could really see, you know, like, you know, some sort of lone rider driving through Duna. Colonies have already been built on Duna and Ike and stuff, and there's a good substantial civilization going on, like 70 or 80 years after Kerbin, and he's just driving along solo or whatever. I had a lot of fun making this, and it gave me some more ideas for like more civilian, I say civilian, it's, it's you know, less venture looking three wheeled vehicles. Maybe even something with like a, um, a passenger in the back, or even something more like a pickup truck can carry stuff in the back. That'd be cute. Like an itty bitty vehicle. Maybe later on I'll think of something. But anyway, this has been a Kerbal Space Program video, even though I had nothing to do with space. But I hope you liked it, and if you did like it, please hit that like button. It'll help out tremendously. And if you really, really liked it, consider subscribing. I upload often, Kerbal Space Program mostly, but we'll see. The future is open to possibilities beyond just one thing. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to a young channel that's trying to do Kerbal Space Program, among other games. They're pretty entertaining to watch. They are... They... Not... Not... Nate... Nate's Hako... Not... Hanko... Nat... Natsukanko... What? Am I doing it right? No? Okay. Shit. Shit. They are a cool channel. Definitely check them out and give them some love. I've been getting a lot of requests for war vehicles to come back, uh, warships and whatnot. Usually I make videos when I'm inspired to make something, because if I'm not inspired to make something and I force it, then it's, it becomes obvious that it's that it's forts. Fort? Forts? What? That it's forced. I know none of you want that. But if ever something does pop up, which it probably will, knowing me, I like blowing things up, you know, weapons and such, armor. If I think of something, I'll definitely be making it. SSTOs are a hot commodity right now, but for me personally, I just like them. I've liked them ever since I made this video, uh, video what? I've, ever since I made this channel. But my thing really has been SSRTs of, of late. SSTOs are fun, uh, kinda, but SSRTs are just, they're just, they're just really cool. Sure, they might be fuel hungry, but who the hell cares? They're freaking awesome. And they're so much easier to get into orbit than SSTOs, like air breathing SSTOs. Technically an SSRT is, is an SSTO. If you're wondering what an SSRT is, just check out the description. But anyway, thank you again so much. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. I have a membership. If you're interested, you can get all kinds of cool little badges and emojis and stuff. Definitely check it out. But thank you everybody for being here and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Again, this has been a Kerbal Space Program video. I have got to be out of my mind. I am Veos and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye.